गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस गुड आफ्टरनून ऑस्ट्रेलिया सिडनी रीजन गाइस टुडे आई एम डिस्कस अबाउट रेप्लीकेशन विच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन सीक्वल सर्वर फॉर द डेटाबेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स ओके all right so so far we discussed about many things now here the replication i already documented it i uploaded it into the google drive i hope you guys can able to see that if not please ping me later on so that i'll reupload it sometimes issue will be with a disk synchronization because which is the storage of a free tier which is available in google sometimes it's it will not be much sync so that might be the reason but anyways we will we will see the if you guys are able to see it or not okay so today i'm going to discuss about a replication okay the english name not about sql server database what do you mean by replication do you guys know normally the definition about it's a dictionary definition english dictionary definition not about uh, database it's a english dictionary definition awesome so sql server replication is is a one type of technology which is available in ms sql server this is mainly for copying and distributing data and database objects from one database to another database and then it will synchronizing between the databases to maintain the consistency of the database and integrity of the database this is one type of technology to copy and distribute the database objects from one server to another server okay this is the simple definition of a sql server replication so here we do have three types literally we have four types but one is already deprecated since from 2006 2014 itself nobody is using that but anyways i'll give you the definition what it is because in an interview question if someone is ask you what are all the types of replications you should say them right okay so first one is snapshot replication second one is transaction transactional replication transactional replication oh sorry replication the fourth one is sorry third one is merge replication fourth one is peer to peer peer to peer replication these are the four types available in ms sql server okay first i'm going with i'm going with snapshot replication okay snapshot replication means okay just keep it very simple this is your primary server this is your primary server the same you will be having secondary server also okay one will be in one region another will be in another region that's all up to you and your project where you need to keep it okay this is called as publisher this is called as publisher this is called as subscriber okay now snapshot replication means based on the schedules based on the agent job schedules based on the agent job schedules the data will be copied from publisher to subscriber is it making sense guys based on the schedules what do you mean by schedule okay i hope it is making sense based on the job schedule the data from publisher to distribute i mean from this is called as publisher this is called as subscriber from publisher server to subscriber server 
data will get distributed by using agent jobs whenever you are scheduling the job schedule means by daily ones daily ones or every hour or every minute these are called as schedules based on that this data will get replicate from publisher server to subscriber server based on the agent schedules guys is it making sense i'll yeah. tell you what is the replication what is the replication i'll tell you okay uh, this is not correct way let me go with the replication first okay replication architecture i want to go with the replication architecture so that you will understand very clearly because you want to know what is a subscriber what is a what is a distributor right okay now let me talk about replication architecture once if you see this you will understand what is a publisher what is a subscriber okay how the data will get distributed what is the prerequisites i'll tell you after that i will teach i will go with the types so that you will understand very clear hope it is making sense okay so i'm going to discuss about architecture now this is the replication architecture now here we will be having two servers that is called as normally in cluster we will call it as node 1 and node 2 even in oracle also it is same node 1 and node 2 okay this is called as publisher okay i'll call it as windows either windows or any one platform windows server v windows vm here also same this is called as windows vm virtual server now you have installed sql server in this this is called as sql server okay here also you've installed sql server okay now name it sql so that you will understand very clearly now here also it is called as sql so that you will understand very clearly this is called as windows virtual machine 1 this is called as windows virtual machine 2 just a minute this is 1 this is 2 now just theoretically this is just called as theory. now you want to count this is called as this database is called as publisher this server whatever you are calling it as publisher okay now this one is called as this one is called as subscriber okay now in middle in middle there will be one guy who will distribute data from virtual machine 1 to virtual machine 2 who is that guy that guy is called as distributor okay that guy is called as distributor okay now this distributor what he will do this distributor he will bring the data from publisher and he will distribute the data to subscriber okay what is the distributor database what is the distributor database distributor database will be having all the metadata information info about pub and subscriber pub and subscriber Okay, distributor knows very well. Distributor knows this distributor knows very clear picture about who is the publisher. Okay, who is the subscriber? Everything it will be clearly knowing. Clear guys, are any confused? Guys, is it clear? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now now one thing i'd like to tell you one minute please i want to increase this okay one thing i would like to tell you here is replication is 
not only for disaster recovery load balancing also it will work replication is for load balancing also i'll tell you why it is called as load balancing just okay i'll tell you why it is called as load balancing just a minute now theoretically you need to understand very clearly because this is most important okay all right so now in this server you will be installing one db you will be configuring one db in the server db name called as giri khan raja rajesh underscore db this is my database name now in this database you will be having you will be having tables that is called as objects in the database what we can have guys can you tell me what are the object names any one guy please how many objects can be in one one database any number uh, what is that you ask how many i said it could be any uh, number uh, yeah yeah that that is my question is not accurate my question is what are the types of objects in you can keep it in one database what are the be, types of objects it could be like 10 15 types Yes, can you tell me? Table, some four, five. Yes, table tables. views, functions, store. Yes, so far, functions, store. Yeah. Is just tables. DB link. Yes, and functions also. Functions I already written. Table store procedure functions. Packages. Yes. So etc. etc. There are lot of objects you can keep it in one database. Indexes. Yeah. Indexes. Yes, absolutely. You are right. So the same thing even here also you will be having the same database here. here also you will have you will be calling it as database here now now one interesting thing is in replication in replication guys please listen carefully in replication we can configure object level for example you can configure replication for these tables okay for this table you can configure replication let me go you can configure replication for example if you want views you can configure replication clear so far we discussed mirroring so far we discussed log shipping so far we discussed always on so far we discussed cluster those are like database level mirroring is a database level always on is a database level log shipping is a database level cluster is a sql server level what about replication okay write it here log okay. shipping yes log shipping is db level right let me copy this this is enter question so log shipping is database level mirroring is mirroring is also database level Now what about always on? Always on is also database level. What about cluster? Cluster is server level. Server level. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. The server we can call it as our OS level we can call it as. What about replication? What about replication? The answer is correct here. Is my answer is correct? I mean, whatever is mentioned is is it correct? Yes. What about others? Replication is database level or yes. or server level? Database level. Someone someone said the answer. Who is that? I think Rajesh or Raja. Someone told me that answer. Can you repeat it again? Database level. Object level. Yeah, yeah. Who said object level? Raja Sab. Raja. Yes, absolutely, yeah. Raja. It is right. Replication is the object level because here, what do you mean by object? What do you mean by object? 
table store procedure functions views those are all called as objects but those are also part of the database absolutely but i'm not going to configure replication again entire the database entire the database i don't want to configure i want to configure only one object which is a part of database but again if you if you go in that direction database is also part of a server server is also part of a virtual machine virtual is also part of a computer that is not the right way but right answer is right answer is replication you don't need to configure for entire database if you don't want you can, if you want you can configure for entire database you can select all the objects but accurate and exact answer is it is the object level okay log shipping we right click on the database we configured log shipping that is a database level mirroring we right click on the database we went to the mirroring that is a database even always on you created one always on group in that group you have added the whichever of the database you want to be in a part of always on you added always on databases cluster windows cluster someone configured sql server that by using executable file you configured cluster this is a cluster or os level now replication for example i have 10 tables i have 10 tables what is the table name table name underscore con is one table table name underscore giri is one table table underscore raja raja saab is one table now another table is there rajesh table is there same way same way i have store processes also now why don't if you don't want to configure for all only configure for one only configure for one either this table or this table or this store processor at this views whichever you want it you configure for that only you know if you don't want for entire the database don't configure all only whichever the important table in my organization two tables are most important one is one is finance table another one is hr table these are the most important for me so in that case i'll configure replication only for that only for the table replication is a lightweight process for your sql server first lightweight process is log shipping second lightweight process is replication here you need two servers that's it you don't need endpoints you don't need any some other standby servers just if you configure any one replication here okay you can go give the second server for reporting servers load balancing also work in replication okay i'll tell you now now whichever listen carefully this is inter question what is the article inter question is what is the article in replication now answer is answer is in my database in my database i have lot of tables lot of tables in this tables and in this stored procedures which are all i configured replication for which are all server i configured replication okay i i don't want these two tables okay i don't want these two tables i want i don't want this stored procedure so i just configured replication only for these two tables these two tables will be called it as these two tables will be called it as come on these two tables will be called it as articles clear guys these two tables is called it as articles do you know what are the what is the definition of articles whichever is whichever is acting whichever is being a part of replication those objects will be treated as articles in sql server replication guys is it making sense yes correct okay articles you got right now yeah now one thing you need to keep it in mind okay i i'll, I'll tell you that in during uh, prerequisites now these are all the database levels and uh, object levels and cluster levels of availability cluster now is there any confusion on this replication theoretically or any any question
guys any any questions please please respond if you have any questions if you don't have i'll go with the prerequisites so giri uh, initially we discussed right three types of the application yes it's the one of the part right it's the first one yeah right? yeah yeah no 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 i'll i'll go with that uh, later but but now i'm just teaching uh, just overview about architecture yeah i'll go with the this one uh, slowly after completion of this architecture i'll go here mm. this is a default architecture about uh, re, i mean uh, replication in sql server so now no but the, what is the mode how the data being flow when say like Like uh, from uh, from the replication uh, from the publisher to subscriber, your question is? Yeah, I mean, is it transactional data or is a database? I mean, OS block. Ah, uh, it's it's by using agent job only. But uh, to exactly to answer your question, I I'll tell you here because it will be very clear if I tell you here. Okay. Here I tell you. Okay. Now here I told you, the based on the agent job schedules, data will be transferred in snapshot replication. Can you see? Daily ones are every hour or every minute. By age, I mean by age and job schedules. This in the snapshot replication. If you configure snapshot replication, how the data will be transferred from publisher to subscriber is based on your job schedules. If you mm -hmm. go with the transaction replication, that I'll tell you slowly, little bit. Give me some three or four minutes. I'll answer you better. Okay. But the basic, you if you go with the snapshot replication, it's based on the schedule. If you go with the transaction replication, the data will be transferred from publisher to subscriber based on some other mechanism. I'll tell you shortly. Give it some three or four minutes, okay? Because I want to go with the step by step process. That is it. Now, what are all the prerequisites? Now, one tricky question to you people is one of the logical question. I know you you know this answer. I know definitely you'll answer to me this question. The question is, replication will not replication will work or not in SQL Server Express Edition? Replication will work or not in Express Edition? Who will tell me the answer? Just raise your voice. Either yes or no. That's it. Don't explain why. What replication will work in Express Edition or not? Yes or no? No. Okay. Don't tell me why. What about others? Ajay Sab and uh, Rajesh. No. Okay. Cool. What about other guys? Rajesh. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. So who will tell me reason? uh mehmood here so i think it's a premium uh, feature should not have, should not be for the uh, express edition okay okay to so i'm going to give you one clue i'm going to give you one clue okay i just highlighted that this clue will give you the exact answer i know because without explanation i raised this question but if you literally logically if you think You'll get the answer. Logically, if you yeah, think you'll get yeah. the answer. In express edition, uh, SQL agent won't work, right? Absolutely, Raja. That's absolutely you are fantastic. I highlighted that logic here. Yeah. Mohammad Khan, you got the answer now. Agent is completely work on agent jobs. Okay, so that agent job, the that service will not be available in. express edition that is why in express edition we cannot able to configure replication even if you configure also it will clearly give you the error what is the error code is agent service is not enabled please go ahead and enable since it is being a part of express edition so that's not going to be work in this particular express edition that is the error warning we will be getting okay now some people used to call me and i'm using express edition but i could not able to configure I could not able to configure the application. The basic scenario here is Express Edition agent service will not be available. In replication, on what mechanism data will be transferred between publisher and subscriber? Based on the agent jobs only. Based on the agent jobs only. To highlight that point, I raised a question. 
okay i hope it is making sense now so why replication will not work in express edition is answer is express edition is not giving this is a base it's a free tier it's a six month validity so in that agent service will not be available it is automatically disabled that is why we cannot we cannot configure replication i hope it is clear now right awesome. okay so now go here what are all the prerequisites first one is publisher server publisher is like primary in replication words are changing look here in log shipping in log shipping what we are calling as primary and standby in mirroring what we are calling as who will tell me the answer in mirroring try try until you say the correct answer in mirroring in, what is the server details principal, principal absolutely and, yeah, absolutely and principal server. and mirrored server in always on we will call it as primary replica and secondary replica because in interview question if the question is relevant to the mirroring if the question is rela related to the always on given you have to say that for example someone is asking you always on question you should not say that principal server is sitting in mumbai region mirrored server is sitting in sydney region you should not say that because they are asking you question related to the always on what you need to say primary replica is sitting in mumbai region secondary replica is sitting in singapore region somewhat like you need to pronounce that word what is that word is called as primary replica and secondary replica if it is comes under cluster active node and passive node if it is comes to the replication publisher server subscriber server okay this is the words will by heart in your mind once you if you get into the project then only those words will be those words will be keep in your mind awesome so publisher server subscriber server network driver next distribute distribute distributor distributor server you can configure distributor server in distributor server you can configure in third party server third server or distributor database you can configure in publisher distributor you can configure in subscriber three options you have what are those three options distributor can be db can be either in publisher or subscriber or nor in third server whichever you likes okay if the banking sector people they always go with the third server because for them health check and the data needs to be transferred in healthy way okay it's again depends on your you and your project if your project is giving lot of servers then why to way, why to go on configure distributor in sub publisher we can configure it in third server also right right next agent schedules agent schedules okay another thing is generic generic login id this generic login id is for all the high availability technologies all the high availability technologies this generic login should be should be having having access on both the missions both the virtual missions plus network drive access also network drive access also clear guys without this if you don't have access then definitely then definitely it's not going to work you always your replication will get failed because of network congestion issues network access issues those kind of will be get into the picture later on awesome so for any doubts guys no all right okay theoretically is it understandable or any confuse yeah i mean if we have question we'll ask okay definitely perfect so now let me go back to the previous uh paint window now we do have four types now you know what is the distributor database what it will do what is the article you know what is the publisher you know what is the subscriber you know how many types of replications you know how many types of replication is four types snapshot replication transaction replication 
merge replication and peer to peer replication peer to peer replication is is it's a de, it's a decommission it's not available this is remote this is retired or i can call it as remote from microsoft this feature nobody is using there is no use because there is no difference between peer to peer and transaction replication that is why they remove that option it is deprecated we can call it as either remote or deprecated uh, never mind guys if my spelling is not accurate it is not correct okay now let me go and tell you the basic idea about each and uh, every so this one uh, the fourth one is remote so we don't need to worry about it let's keep it in number okay so now what do you mean by, see now snapshot replication this is a publisher this is called as pub that means publisher okay next one is subscriber now you can't figure snapshot replication on what basis data will be transferred and distributed from publisher to subscriber the answer is based on the agent schedules whenever you are scheduling either every minute or every hour or every 6 hours or every day once or weekly once or monthly once or yearly once based on that it will take a snapshot from the publisher and it will distribute to the subscriber snapshot is just like a database backup this agent job will just capture the snapshot and it will give the data back to the subscriber clear okay based on the job schedules the answer is based on the job schedules now let me talk about transactional replication what really do you mean by snapshot replication sorry transactional replication so this is the subscriber this is the guys my voice is clear or any distraction or any echo all good all good rajesh any any voice problem yeah now i'm able to hear you uh, previously it was uh, distraction is it yeah Can do let right, me yeah. know because we will try to fix that issue okay give me one minute i'll check from my end also because everything is stable or not give me one minute please okay guys please let me know if any issues either my voice problem or uh, now i think we are good because power is there in my home because after 11 o'clock i think so best bestcom is one of the electricity power supply in bangalore uh, so sometimes they will to reduce the resource consumption on every saturday and sunday they are switching off for something okay all right let's go ahead here i have backup if power goes immediately i have a backup i have i already dongle is ready with me but dongle may be some voice distraction maybe because the network problem here okay all right let's go let's go to the transaction replication transaction replication will work okay based on the transaction now just imagine just imagine you you did some transaction in your publisher database any transaction like insert here you inserted some data here you have updated some data updated some data here here you have done some deleted or drop whatever it is you have done some setting i mean some transaction to your uh, publisher that data will get immediately the data will get mohammed khan please your answer is now here so the data get immediately transferred to your subscriber based on the transaction only so data will will be transferred trans our oh, spelling is wrong i think okay transferred based on 
transaction transaction clear just imagine now you you insert some data here in the publisher database in the publisher article the transaction has been committed in the publisher database this insert this insert command has been committed successfully once if it is committed once if it is committed then the data will get published to subscriber clear here the data will get publisher to subscriber clear guys or you want me to repeat it again no no we got it oh we got it so if i ask you one question can you tell me that answer now can ask you one interview question yeah. what is the difference between snapshot replication and transaction replication this is interview question A difference is in front of you. Uh, snapshot replication and transaction replication. Here only you can tell me the answer. You can see my screen and you can tell me the answer. Snapshot replication means based on the schedules, the data will be transferred from publisher to subscriber. Based on the job schedules, either it might be daily ones, or every hourly ones, or every minute. or every 6 hours ones or monthly ones or weekly ones or yearly ones whatever the based on the schedules the data will be transferred from subscribes from publisher to subscriber that is the snapshot replication transaction replication means every transaction once if it is committed in the publisher that will get distributed that will get replicated to the subscriber this is the difference prerequisite means everything is same whatever is required for snapshot replication the same required for transaction replication also so for this to call it as one directional what do you mean by one directional only in one server what are the changes happening in the publisher that will get just replicated to the subscriber but what are the changes happening on the subscriber it is not going to replicate with subscriber sorry with the publisher that is why it is called as one directional one directional means it is only one error mark see now what are the changes is happening on the publisher that will get replicated to subscriber that is why we call it as one directional now let's go and talk about the merge replication so far it is clear i think let me know guys if any confusions or any doubts okay this is now i'm talking about merge replication merge replication is a bidirectional Now I hope you understand what do you mean by bidirectional. Ahmad Khan, what do you mean by bidirectional? I mean two sides are involved here. Yes, exactly. Whatever is happening on the publisher, any transaction is happening on the publisher, that will get replicated to your subscriber. The same way, whatever it is happening in the subscriber. that will replicate to your publisher this is call it as this is call it as bidirectional replication merge replication means it is a bidirectional two way of trans what are the changes is happening on the two servers that will get replicate with each other mutually communication okay that is why it is called as bidirectional or two way directional bidirectional replication clear now who will tell me all the difference between these three replication types first i'll tell you the answer and you guys tell me the later answer because this is interview question 
I'll tell you. I'll let me finish it. Here, snap. I'll, I'll make it very simple and sweet. I don't want to make it very large. If I make it as very large, we'll definitely get a confusion. The short and sweet is snapshot. There are three. I mean, there are four replication types. One is snapshot, transactional, merge, and then last one is peer-to-peer -peer replication. Peer-to-peer -peer replication. Nobody is using in the market. That is why it is deprecated in latest versions. So now let's talk about the difference between each replication type. First one is snapshot replication. Snapshot replication is going to work based on agent schedules. The data will be transferred from publisher to subscriber based on agent job schedule. That is simple. What about transaction replication? Transaction replication means whatever the transaction is coming and hitting the publisher, that will get replicated to the subscriber immediately. Immediately. Okay. That is transaction replication. Transaction means either insert, update is one transaction, delete is one transaction, drop is one transaction. Whatever you are doing, that is called as transaction. Okay. Now let's go to the merge replication. Merge replication. Whatever the changes is happening on the publisher, it will get replicated to the subscriber in the same article. Whatever the changes is happening in the subscriber, that will get replicated into the publisher. This is called as bidirectional. Either you can call it as bidirectional or multidirectional, whatever you will like. Okay. Now, if you insert any here, if you insert anything here, that will replicate here. If you insert any data, that will replicate to publisher. Clear? Any doubt, guys? Theoretically, is it really understandable or any confused? Theoretically. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, yes, can, different types. Yes, can what is that? Giri, in this uh, different replication types, uh -huh. um, where is the role of this two, this one? Um, your uh, between the job in the architecture you show no? Oh, what is that? This Ar the merge one. Okay, okay, I'll go here. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> what is the role of distributor in these three? In this three, distributor will be maintaining uh, metadata information like who is the subscriber, which article you have added, what is the condition you passed, who is the subscriber. These are all things okay, in all in the yeah, in all the three. Yeah, uh, got it. Yeah, in in those uh, different types of replications, uh -huh. so distributor will be used, right? Yes, it is a that is a mandatory. That is a mandatory one. Okay. That is why I mentioned prerequisite. This prerequisites is for all. This prerequisites is for all. So here, one more prerequisite, that is the primary key is required. That is for one type. I, I'm not going to tell you now that. Whenever I'm discussing the type, that time only I'll tell you why primary key is required. Because the primary key is only for one, one type of replication. So that is why I did not mention here. This prerequisite is for all types of replication. Now, this distributor will be having all the metadata information. Whether you want to, whether you want to keep it in primary, I mean publisher, or whether you want to keep it distributor in subscriber, that is up to you. While configuring, you can do. That's not a problem. Clear? Now, even this distributor will be knowing this all the information, whatever I draw it here, sorry, so whatever I draw here, this distributor will be having all this information. That is why we will call it as metadata. Okay, it will be knowing publisher server, it will be knowing uh, subscriber details, it will be knowing network drive, it will be knowing dist I mean, distributed database name also, it will be knowing agent schedules, login ID, what kind of access login ID has, everything it will be keep monitoring the distributor. Now, one more logic is I think uh, not now, I think better I can tell you later. Okay, here I'll tell you. Now, one more in subscriber, there are two types. Okay, this is called a subscriber, right? This is called a subscriber. Can you see my diagram here? This is called a subscriber. 
okay now in this subscriber there are there are two modes sub modes sub modes okay data sub modes what are those is pull request push request normally what do you mean by pull normally this is a database uh, i mean not not um, not in a database normally what do you mean by pull rajesh sahab mohammed khan rajesh what do you mean by pull not here in not in the database normally just literally in outside there are if you if you go to any supermarket if you go to your home either pull or push even if you are you all are working in companies right the doors either your uh, main door office door whenever you are opening they write an either pull or push what do you mean about it pull means you are pulling it out it is towards against to you push means it is opposite to you you are pushing it so here pull means subscriber will go and request the data from the distributor here subscriber is going to pull the data from the distributor push means push means your distributor is going to push the data to subscriber did you got the difference pull request means subscriber has to go and request the data from distributor push means distributor will push the data to subscriber there is a settings you need to just select them i'll show you what are all those okay guys theoretical is done can i go to the practicals or you want to take any break let's take a break man okay that's all up to you because theoretical is very complicated again if you go and uh, overwhelm your mind then it's not going to be good so take your break and the replication now the basic idea you got it now what is the replication this is a sql server architecture this one is called as hey it's not a sql server architecture it is a replication types what what i name it this one replication architecture i am right it's a replication architecture now now five inter replication guys five inter questions what are those is first question is please make a note in your book before taking a break just two minutes i'll end up this call so what is the uh, questions relevant to the replication inter question question number 1 is what is a replication question number 2 what is a distributor question number 3 where you can configure distributor question number 4 what are all the types of replication types replication is a disaster recovery or load balancing or high availability this is one inter question what are all the prerequisites for your replication this is the sixth question seventh question is i'll give you the task now the seventh question is can i can i configure publisher subscriber distributor all three in single sql server instance don't tell me the answer just do r and d tell me the answer later on mohammed khan did you understand the seventh question rajesh sahab rajesh did you understand the seventh question can i configure okay again i am going to repeat it can i configure publisher subscriber distributor all in same server same sql server can i configure it don't tell me the answer now just do and do r and d and tell me the after the break tell me the answer after the break making sense guys okay giri okay question is understandable right making sense right yeah yeah okay so i don't want 100% answer just try because we are in learning phase just try to say the answer we will see okay all right guys 
and one more interview question is replication is possible in express edition this is the logical interview question if i am taking interview in my project definitely my question will be okay all right okay guys i'm going to stop my screen, share screen and take a short break not long break uh, so we will okay you guys have finished your lunch and be back shortly okay